What's the uh, what's the story in the video of the Unreal Engine editor? Is it actually is somebody using? Oh, they are. It's crazy. They're they're building in VR with the Unreal Engine. Yep. So they just announced this today. Uh, they're going to show it at GDC in March. Uh, the ability to build game engines or build game worlds in Unreal Engine using VR. I think in this case they're using a Vive uh htc vive device and he's using two of the htc vive controllers and if you watch the video it's really cool and it's um like this very intuitive way to design things right where it shows him like taking a pillar and, and rotating it and then I don't like know if I'd call it, it. that looks really incredibly well practiced like, you think so I, yeah they, they pause it in the video that like hey this is how your brain has worked since you were a baby, right? Like you're used to right. playing with blocks. You're used to um, moving things around that part, on top of each other. That part I get. That part I completely get. Like I, I want, I want Jarvis dropping down the, you know, flathead motor schematics and them hovering in front of my face and me using my fingers to flick things open because you know I want to be Iron Man too. I'm just saying, like I'm looking at this and how specific his motions and gestures are. And I'm wondering how long it took him. Like, it's amazing. Like, it's an amazing interface. But I'm really curious how long it took him to get this fast with everything. Oh, I'm sure. Yeah, I'm sure it's practice. But, like, yeah. if you look at the interface that he's looking through there, yeah, that's the standard uh, Unreal Engine editor interface, right? You're just, right. like, say, oh, you're looking Holding at it, it on a virtual like a iPad instead of a, a regular iPad, right? And uh, you just, like, I mean, click on something and drag it out into the world. You scale it. Seeing it in real time is crazy. Yeah. I mean, now they don't address like how you move around in the world, right? Like if you wanted to look at a different location and do editing, right. how you would do that. Um, that's a, that's the same game design problem for, it's just, it's interesting to see a, a separate application. Like this is what we knew would happen. Like there, there'll be more applications or at least as many applications for virtual reality in the professional space as there would be in the actual gameplay space. And game design is one of those professional spaces, right, where you're, right. you're working in an environment that is completely different than what you've ever really worked in before and see how it changes up uh, design aspects of things. I, I, I thought it was really cool. Having played, had you ever played the, um, or gone through the, um, the, the Google-built uh, pixel art demo or the, like the art demo with the HTC Vive? Yeah. We're drawing in 3D space. You know, it's it's a very simplified version of what they're doing there, right? Where you can use the controller, use the the hand controllers to draw in real in real time. You bring up a, a context menu on your left hand, and you pick out your brushes, your swatches, or whatever it is, and you can like walk around your 3D structure while you're working on it and stuff like that. It's really really it's cool. Crazy. Yeah, and 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 I have no artistic ability. That was never the intent, but right. it was super super immersive like immediately like i was like oh wow i can see how people that have more capability than i could could do really really cool stuff with this and even me i was having fun just playing around with it um and this is i assume a similar idea but for people who are used to working in uh, unreal engine on a 30 inch monitor or something like that and, and i'd be curious to like talk with some of them and see what they think the changes actually are so it apparently it'll only be next month um where they show this you know to the game developers in mass at the game developers conference um out in san Fran i can't think it's in san francisco this year uh so we'll we'll know more then i'd like to get get some hands on with it even though i don't know anything about using the unreal editor so maybe that's a bad idea actually in retrospect well, maybe you'll learn a lot <laughs> could be a new <laughs> career <laughs> yeah it turns out i'm really good at stacking blocks in virtual reality